the Jesse Blake Sports Report with Jesse Blake. Welcome to the Jesse Blake Sports Report. Whether this is your first time here, your last time here, or somewhere in between, I appreciate that you're here today so that we can discuss how the NHL has officially lost the plot when it comes to offside review. So this afternoon, Saturday afternoon, the Edmonton Oilers are playing the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo, and with two seconds left, Owen Power rips a wrister past Stuart Skinner to win the game for the Buffalo Sabres. Very dramatic ending. Everybody in the stadium is excited. Everybody on the Sabres is happy. Great comeback victory for them. Everybody goes home. All cool. But the referees determined that the play was offside when the Sabres entered the zone. They were indeed offside. That's what we need to talk about here because the offside review took about five minutes. And in that five minutes, everybody had left. As you can see here, half the stadium is clearing out. All the fans are in the aisles getting ready to leave. And there's no players left on the bench. Half of them are undressed. Edmonton is, I don't know where, they're heading to their next location of their road trip. And everybody has to come back onto the ice. It took forever to get everybody back on the ice. They need to play out the last 20 seconds of overtime from where they put the clock back for the offside review. And then they need to go to a shootout where, thankfully, Buffalo won the game in a shootout because this this call was so egregious that I think we all agreed Buffalo should probably win the game. And as I said, this is the main issue here. The NHL has lost what the offside review should be about. 11 years ago in 2013, Matt Duchesne was a mile offside in a game against the Predators. I believe it was in February of 2013. It was a missed call by the lineman. The lineman who was standing on, on the, on the blue line just clearly missed a call and it led directly to a goal that Matt Duchesne scored. Those things need to be fixed with video review. The millimeter that the Sabres were offside today that took forever to review and determine that, yeah, they were, I don't even, like, what is the inch that the centimeters that they were offside? I don't even know what that that little smidge of ice in between the skate there is. But the referees determined through painstaking forensics that they were offside. That is not the point of reviewing offside. Right now, the NHL has the rule where it's, yes, we are going to review it, and if you are this much offside, you are offside. It is a black and white issue for video review officials, and I don't think that is the spirit of the rule at all. Hockey is a fluid game in that it's played at a constant pace. Everything is back and forth and up and down, and offside, it should be a more fluid call. The same way the center ice line, when you get to the center ice line, you hit, dump the puck to the, to the, to the end, the other end of the ice. It's a fluid call when they determine whether or not your stick cross center ice to call it an icing. So, so the guys, they'll, they'll shoot the puck. And if your stick passes the red line, the, the linesman won't say it's icing. But, you know, if you're way past the red line and there's no chance your stick is passing that red line, they'll call it icing. I think offside should work in a similar way where it's if in real time a referee can't determine that it's offsides, it should stand. And I think they should add a layer to the view video review in that there should be a third ref who's just looking at it through a TV. Like his job, you know, the linesman sits on the blue line and he and he looks down the line and he says, that's offside or not offside, blah, blah. There should be a third guy who just sits up in the press box and his job is to look down the line on a camera and say, hey, is this offside or not offside? So if it's egregious, like Matt Duchesne in 2013, the guy whose job it is to look at the camera can call, buzz the linesman down there. And don't tell me the technology isn't quick enough to where he can just buzz them and it's instantaneous. He'll buzz them, tell them, hey, you missed this egregious offside. Let's pull it back. Let's even stop play immediately. And let's make that the call. Because that'll fix, if it's done in real time by somebody watching the video feed, that'll fix the millimeters. Where if you can see with your naked eye that he's offside, yeah, let's do it. If he's a millimeter offside, that's not the spirit of the offside rule. The millimeters aren't really what we're looking for here. If he has to do it in real time and we take away the idea of this being a challengeable play 
a play that's reviewed through video review. Take that all away. Take that out of the coach's hands. Just have a third guy doing it with his eyes in real time through a TV monitor with the video feed. Then we get the egregious ones. Then we leave these silly little ones that really didn't affect the play. That's my idea. That's my idea how to fix this thing because I think it's, it's, it's like I've said a million times here in the last couple of minutes, it's getting ridiculous. I don't think any hockey fan wants this. Let me know if you want this. If you sat there and you watched the Sabres and the Oilers and you said, yeah, I'm so happy that they got this right and they took away that goal from the Buffalo Sabres because they were offside and that millimeter really matters. That's how the NHL set it up right now. And I don't think they've set it up correctly. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit like. If you really like the video, hit subscribe on the channel. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. We're about uh, 350 away. This is exciting to hit 2,000 subscribers. So hit subscribe if you like the video. Uh, it's been a busy week on at SGPN. We've made we made like 30, 40 videos in the last three days because there's just been so many trades and we're churning out the videos. That's why this channel's been a little quiet because all the videos are going over there for trade deadline. But we're back and we're going to have some fun heading to the playoffs here in the NHL. I also need to do a video on Gen Z killing 90s basketball and taking down Michael Jordan and determining that LeBron James is the GOAT. That video is coming I'm going to drop it tomorrow. So uh, thank you for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but it shows me listening or watching this podcast right now. And I appreciate you for that. Good night from Toronto. This is how it's done. The Jesse Blake Sports Report with Jesse Blake. Jesse Blake, the guy that likes to hear his name twice in one sentence. Sure, I know him. No, he doesn't have an ego at all.